Hi there, and welcome to Real Talk Radio with Mark and Nikki, where we take a look at what's going on in the entertainment world, do some food reviews and taste testing, share funny stories, and poke a little fun at what's going on in the world around us. Coming up on the show today, Nikki's got a final farewell prank. I'm scared. Please hold me. Uh, we got a new installment of the Matrix movie is on the way. For those of us who are excited about the Matrix, it's been a while since the last one. How about a car full of wasps oh, that no. maybe you sit and hang out in? I'm going to show you some pictures. Okay. It's If you're watching on the video, you're going to see some pictures. It's amazing. And there's a video of this going around on social media right now. And then how about using Alexa to do your homework? Some oh, kids, yeah. kids are outsmarting the system. I absolutely love it. That's totally my kid. <laughs> <What are you getting? laughs> I could see her doing that. So I have the ultimate prank here, Mark. I, wrote, I read it the other day, and I just I was cracking up. <laughs> I could totally see myself doing something like this, to be honest with you. So the headline reads, Dead Man Pranks Funeral Goers by Screaming from His Coffin in a Pre-Recorded Message as He's Lowered into the Ground. So, oh my so here's the story, right? Shay Bradley, uh, he died on October 8th, so that was just last week. But his sense of humor lives on. That's what it says. That's not funny. <laughs> Which is just what he wanted, right? So as the coffin was being lowered into the ground at the ceremony in Dublin, Ireland, another sound cut the sounds of the bagpipes, right? They're playing the bagpipes. It's beautiful. And you just hear this shout ring out. It's like, hello, hello, can you all hear me? Let me out. Can you imagine? And it was, <laughs> was it coming from the coffin? And it says, where the F am I? That's what he said. Oh, my gosh. He's like, guys, let me out. It's dark in here. Now all his beloved gathering people, they're gathered around. They're just kind of looking around at the hole like, what's going on? And then he lets out this huge laugh. And, and he lets them know, hey, guys, I, I wanted you to laugh at my funeral. Don't cry. And I love you guys. Well, they're traumatized now. <laughs> How crazy is that? But the story goes, he actually had, uh, he'd been dealing with a terminal illness for quite a while. And uh, he had begged his daughter, please let me do this. So he knew he was at the end, and two days before he passed, he actually recorded this, and this was... Well, that's you know, creepy. That's like his dying wish, and his daughter's like, you know what, my dad was a huge jokes, jokester. He was always laughing, always making people smile, so why not? So when it was all said and done, the people said, you know, it freaked us out, but we were like, okay, this can't be real. Is it real? Like, nobody really thought it was real, but I thought it was pretty darn funny. <laughs> that's pretty disturbing. <laughs> I mean... Well, that's our sense of humor. Is our how old was different. the daughter? Uh, she was 38. Okay, well, yeah. she doesn't like 12 or something. Her to six. <laughs> but daddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. But isn't it funny? It's a funny story it is. for it's later on down the road. Right, but for <laughs> at the moment, right? I mean, can you imagine? Uh, that's just, that's pretty disturbing. I mean, I like it. It's funny, but it's disturbing so at the same time. So you don't want to do that at your funeral? Is that no, what you're I wouldn't do that. Right. Just, you know, out of what respect. What about bagpipes? No, oh, no bagpipes beautiful. either. I want bagpipes at my wedding. Really? At my wedding, funeral, whatever, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my funeral. <laughs> so is Chris into bagpipes, your husband? <laughs> no. No, he doesn't but like But he is Irish. Is he really? Yeah. Well, do you know where his, like, his family's from? or No. No? I, I honestly don't. He was adopted. Oh, okay. So we don't have that history there. But. Right, right. All right. You can't track him back to the Mayflower or whatever? Uh, no. No. Okay. <laughs> back to his Blarney Stone. <laughs> All right, short commercial break for our other podcast, CBD and Essential Talk Radio, where we share important insight, stories, recipes, and have some fun over there as well. Our CBD and Essential podcast is heard by listeners in over 30 countries now. So if you're listening or if you're interested in learning how CBD and Essential Oils can benefit your family, be sure to tune in. It's a fun show. If you'd like for us to send you a quick overview about CBD, if you're interested in learning about that, if you're ready to make the, your inroad into the plant oil lifestyle, Text the word CBD to 210-910-4174. That's 210-910-4174. We'll get you that information. You can get more information in the details below. All the information that you need is going to be down there, or you can visit eotalkradio.com. That's our main website. Yeah, and if you're checking us out on our video, like what is it, Facebook, YouTube, those channels, Mark? Um, you're going to notice we have our background from our uh, CBD and Essential Oil Talk Radio show. So that's pretty cool. That's yeah. our, our new background today. I'm loving it, by the way. Yeah. So the, uh, I'm actually, we're this is we're using studio stuff from our other show. That's why we got the mic flag up here. This is CB. Hey, that show is funded, right? And that one supports this show yes. here. So yeah. Anyway, that's awesome. All right. I'm looking for the. Uh, I need to make sure that I can turn the PowerPoint the on here. Is that uh, Keanu Reeves? Keanu Reeves. Was he in the Matrix? Yes. Is he still in this one? Um. 
Yes, he is. So I just changed. I just updated our screen. So he's going to be a course in this one. He's real big right now because, um, you know, the John Wick 3 and all of that. And it just everybody seems to love Keanu Reeves. Have you heard of his backstory about his his uh, their unborn daughter and, no. him and his girlfriend and his girlfriend ended up passing away later? And uh, anyway, it's kind of a tragic story. You know, I think he he was heartbroken probably by the death so of his unborn. I, I, well, I bet. Yeah. I assume most people would be, but I just saw something standing at the grocery store. Him and oh, I can't think of the girl's name now. I'm so sorry. Winona Ryder. No. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, no. I don't even know why I said that. Dar- darn it, <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Yeah, I what? just saw something about him and Sandra Bullock. How they 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 were in love with each other uh-huh. at the same time, but they never said anything. And that was like 25 years ago. Wasn't that a movie that they did together? Well, there was a movie about a mailbox and yes. a disappearing. I remember that. That, that was, was actually a good movie. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Do you remember what it was called? No, mailbox no, Money no, or no. something? <laughs> mailbox. Uh, uh, order Bride. Quick Order Bride? No. no I don't know. <laughs> That's something my mom would be reading. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, right? I remember that. So, yeah, The Matrix 4. So, uh, we got a cast update here. Neil Patrick Harris, actually, is going to be, he, of course, he's known as Doogie Hauser, MD. Yes. I mean, that's how I know him, right? It's, it's Dr. Hauser, Dr. Doogie, Dr. Doogie. Okay, wait, The Girl on the Train. Have you seen that movie? No, I haven't. Oh, Neil Patrick Harris plays a psycho. See, I think he's going to be a bad Crazy guy in this movie. psycho, yeah. I'm going to murder you right yeah. now. Like, weird. He's good at that. He's weird, but I love him, and I've seen him at Disney World. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did he know you were seeing him there? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing in the bathroom? I we see you. <laughs> you can't come in here, lady. <laughs> he was in the girls' bathroom. It's oh. oh, okay. Well. <laughs> anyway, he does uh, Disney World um, Christmas time. He um, is the announcer of the shows and such. Uh huh. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, carry on with your bad self, Mark. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so he, I, my guess is he's going to play a bad guy in this deal here, which would be awesome. I'd love to see Kano beat him up, you know what I mean? Oh. I wonder if he'll bring the John Wick style to the Matrix. I've never seen John Wick, so I don't even know what that means. Oh, uh, they're pretty violent, yeah, it's, but it's in-your-face violent kind of a thing, you know what I mean? But it's good. Kano, he plays a good part. Carrie Ann Moss will be also, she's cast in that. I have no idea who she is. I didn't even look her up, so I don't Thanks know. for sharing. I, nobody knows who she yeah, is. Yeah, right. So there you <laughs> go, Carrie. First time on the radio or the TV. Or, hey, maybe, maybe I should charge her <laughs> for sending a shout out on there that. There you go. So uh, Keanu Reeves, of course, he's going to return to his role as ne- Neo. As Neo. Do you remember the red pill, the blue pill thing? Did, I, did you watch The Matrix? No, I've never seen it. Okay, well, it's a homework assignment, so you need okay. to watch The I Matrix. I don't like to watch movies. I'm a reader. Well, then read the movie. Do they have a book? <laughs> no, but you could. The, the subtitles. <laughs> just read it that way. <laughs> How do you turn off all the sound and black out the picture? There you go. Just read it. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a moving book. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. My guess is Neil Patrick Harris is going to play a bad guy he's in so that. Cute. So I'm like my cute little boys. Yeah. I mean, I know he's like a 48-year-old man, but. I wonder if he's weird. Like you think he's weird? If I can. And Actors. Like, Actors, no, I think he's probably just an awesome, fun guy. Just a regular guy. Yeah. It's all kinda, good. Kind of like you and me. Well, yeah. I'm not a guy. But Except for like not. But. All <laughs> right, so I got a picture up on the screen now. So how about a car full of wasps? What's up with you so, and wasps? Well, yeah, it, well it's last, just... Last show or last week, weren't you talking about wasps yes. and tree? And, mm-hmm. I was. But they're interesting to me. What, I'm just looking through social media, find out what's interesting and what interests eat. me. We should eat bugs. No, no, we already did. I'm that. not we eating any crickets. wasps either. I refuse. Let's eat some bees. No, I won't uh, eat those yeah, either. So anyway, you got a car full of wasps. So there's a picture up on the screen here. That guy. So there's three pictures here. So over on the left, you got a guy. He's in a full bee suit, right? He's sitting in the car, and a guy walks up, and he's like, "Hey, what's going on?" And he's looking. They're trying to act like everything's normal or whatever. But uh, inside the car, as you see in the middle picture, it, the I mean. It's a nest that takes up the entire passenger, like the where the console is, the passenger seat, and then it goes into the back seat of the car. And it, so the guy sticks his head in there. You can just hear the oh. the wasps just buzzing around. And I'm saying wasps. I mean, I don't know what species they are. So if you're a you know, a uh, or, guy. yeah, if you're a bee guy, don't don't be sending me hate mail saying no. That's technically it's not a wasp. It's a European pincher schnauzer or something. I don't know what it is, but. Anyway, really cool though, but just creepy for me. That's so creepy. it was an abandoned car. Or was there like a guy waiting on a girl, and it took her forever? And then the yeah. wasp. Yeah, that, that's probably exactly how it happened. So I don't know. Just what five kind. minutes, honey. I'll be right there. Looks like it could be a Ford Taurus. I'm not really sure, but anyway, so pretty creepy all the way around. Uh, not my cup of tea. Even with a, a full body suit on, I'm not going to go do that. 
I'm just really not going to do that. So anyway, um, so what about Alexa doing your homework? Um, it's brilliant. Crazy, right? I love it. Um, so kids really are kind of, they're figuring things out and, uh, they're using all of the available tools, uh, out there to them at their disposal. So when mom and dad aren't paying attention, they are, uh, Hey Alexa. And Alexa comes on and what's six times six. <laughs> she repeats the, the question and says it's 36 and then writes the answer down. And then he's like, you know, kind of doing this, but there was a like kid after kid, after kid, after kid. And they all have these accents. I don't know if they're Ireland or where they're at, but it's, it's pretty cute, but, uh, they're just, they're just trying to make it in a tech world, there man. You go. I love it. I check my math by Alexa all the time. Do you really? When I cook and stuff. And this just happened the other day and you're going to think, oh, Nikki, what are you dumb right now? But <laughs> it was two thirds of a cup and two thirds of a cup. So okay. I was like, I'll do the math. That's, a that's one four one, sixths of a cup. I don't know. <laughs> that's one and one third, right? So Alexa, what is one third plus one? What's one third of a cup plus one third of a cup? And she's like, point six, 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 seven plus Six, that doesn't help. Point six 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 is one and one third of a cup. I know. So I was correct, but I just wanted to double check. So maybe those kids are double checking their math. No, Probably they weren't. <laughs> they're just getting the answer. It's no. like they're going to the back of the book in the teacher's edition, and they're yeah. being like, okay, I got this one, I got that one, and I'm just going to plow through it. Now I can go play Minecraft or whatever they're going to awesome. want to do. You know? So speaking of that, yeah. I just uh, met with my daughter's teacher this morning to go uh-huh. over you know, a little parent-teacher conference, see how she's doing. Uh, they want her level to be at like 150 right? It's a score that they do. She's like, she's at 188. She's above average. She's doing wonderful in all her reading, her math, everything. Uh, but she needs to learn to focus more. She likes to talk a lot. <laughs> oh, I wonder <laughs> I where like, she gets that from. Oh, hey, she's going to have her own talk show. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But I was like, yeah, you didn't, Apple didn't far, uh, fall from, far from the tree, as they yeah, say. Yeah, right. So that was pretty cool. But I could totally see her doing that. She, she doesn't like to do math. It's not that she doesn't like to do it. It takes her time. And she'd rather be doing other things. Yep. So... Pretty fun. Do you use uh, any kind of essential oils with her, like a, like a focus blend or time. anything? Mm-hmm. Sure what's do. what's your go-to for that? So essential oil would be Stress Away. That's okay. a blend that Young Living makes. Sure. Uh, it's vetiver and cedarwood. Okay. And even lavender. Have you combined vetiver and black spruce yet? I know that you've... Never. Okay. That's a pretty amazing. I, I love that smell. Is it, is it just for the smell purpose? Is that why you do it? Yeah, just for the smell. Because I know I mean, the vetiver for me, you know, I'm an adult that has... Uh, you're hyperactivity an <laughs> i'm an adult <laughs> i don't care what you say mother and uh it helps me just relax but cbd oil does that for me too yeah I right take cbd also and i told the teacher that this morning yeah what did the teacher say uh, well i i asked her i said so when you're when you're watching her and she's talking and and you know she goes well i'm giving instruction and she's over there like and i'm like michaela oh sorry she's like sorry she goes i can redirect her and she's quiet as a mouse but right she gets like bored with my talking is what I'm thinking. Oh. My daughter's thinking she gets bored with what's yeah. going on. Uh, I said, so ADHD, has that crossed your mind with my child? Because I know you've been a teacher for 20 years. You know what ADHD looks like. She says, not at all. Oh, okay. Not at all. But uh, I said, well, I do give her CBD for her hyperactivity. She's like, really? I said, yes, every morning. She's like, oh. She goes, well, I said, do I need to up the dose? She's like, maybe. <laughs> she just started <laughs> laughing. But she says, no, we always redirect her back, and she's good as gold. So, Oh, good. But it's good to hear from a teacher that's been doing this for 20 years that yeah. you know, she does not, in her eye, have ADHD. Yeah, I would definitely recommend folks out there that are maybe looking for you know, something you know, healthy that they, they can give their kids maybe to uh, – Maybe to help focus, uh, you know, just to help them feel better, relax a little bit. Um, the essential oil, especially like vetiver, some in the vetiver and cedarwood area, very, very good that way. In fact, um, if you're watching on the video, I, I have a blend that I make here, um, and it's in a regular vetiver bottle, but I put my own oils in there, and, and I use it while I'm here just to kind of, you know, so I don't get too much on YouTube or whatever. I can actually focus on doing some of the work that needs to get done. But yeah, And you use CBD as well, right? Yeah, I do every day, So uh, and I take it at night before bedtime. And sometimes I go to bed and I'm like, Oh, I forgot to take it. And I get up. Um, but I'm committed to the process. And uh, in fact, you remember I went and got a drug test, right? Cause I wanted to just verify, Hey, there's no THC in, um, in it. And it just, you know, cause I know a lot of first responders and, you know, I talk to them and stuff, but, uh, want to be able to show, Hey, yeah, I've actually got the report. Ding, ding. Um, no, uh, THC in my system. And that was after a little over 30 days of using CBD. So I've been on it for a few months now. So uh, but I really like it. I sleep really good. I, I, I've always slept good, but I don't know. It just feels different. It feels a little bit more uh, fulfilling. Like good sleep. Like, you know, you don't wake up tired sleep. Right. 
you had a good sleep. Well, Absolutely. Awesome. So maybe our uh, listeners want some CBD. Yeah, yeah. And if you guys do, remember I mentioned earlier um, to text CBD to 210-910-4174. There you go. That's um, right. I, I pulled that from memory. It was I'm my, so my blend. Yeah, well, I thank have you. them in the notes. So good job. It must, it must be working. <laughs> All right. So is that our show for today? That's it. Wow, it goes so fast. It I does. had a really fun time today. So remember, guys, if you want to catch our latest podcast, you can do that on all major podcast platforms. And if you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, we'll post the videos of our show there. And there's going to be links to everything you need in the details below. So until next time, guys, keep it real. Awesome. Have a great week, guys.